Oh my God. Holy crap. Hey, you want to try down there first? Yes or no? pretty crazy I want to see over there look over there over there looks crazy Too small. Not what I'm going for. It's a big one! Your line is wrapped all around yourself. It's like around your neck. You messed me up. Time to take out the 80 pound casking monofilament leader. 20 was not working. <laughs> it snapped me off. This knife, very sharp. These scissors have been saving my life too. Get yourself a pair of scissors. It should be in part of your tackle box right here. All right, back in commission. I'm gonna show you guys how to fish some craziness right here. This is stuff that I've seen on YouTube for, for years. Well, we've been here for a week and I've learned a lot so far. I wanna share with you what I've learned. First off, Make sure you have heavy leader line, heavy leader line, because if you're fishing around rocks, braid will snap as soon as it touches a rock. Whereas monofilament fluorocarbon is very resistant to snapping. It can take some damage. Right now I'm using Cast King leader line and it's been great. It's been landing me a lot of fish. And you guys saw us catch these baits this morning. Uh, these are perfect. If you want more success 
and if you want to start catching fish faster, use smaller pieces. But if you want bigger fish, use bigger pieces. Woo! Cold. Okay. So now when I cut when I cut this crab, I'm cutting the legs off first. Take the body off. Holy crap, waves are getting really big. Take the body off. Cut in half. And you see these sections right here? Mm -hmm. Cut along with the section. Just like that. So this, this crab gave me four pieces. And I thank you, crab, for giving me your life. You're gonna catch my dinner tonight, and you're not gonna go to waste. You're gonna feed my, my family of seven tonight. So thank you for giving your life to feed my family. See how the hook is hidden? Perfect. So before, I've been using small hooks I upgraded the hook size, and now I'm putting some bigger bait on. See if it catches a bigger fish. Oh my god! Holy crap! Oh my god! Yes! use sinkers. You're not bottom fishing here, especially in, in this craziness, especially in this kind of craziness. You want to fish by drifting and you always want to keep and you always want to know where your line is. If you're on the bottom, you're going to get snagged really quickly. So what we've been doing is drift fishing. Um, with drift fishing, you cast it out upwards and let it drift back to you, keeping in mind where the line is at the same time. Um, and we've got the perfect rod for that right now. It's the Cast King Chrome. This is made, this is covered in Kevlar. Kevlar is used for bulletproof vests. So I'm, I'm not afraid of, of dropping this rod or stepping on this rod. The rod itself is made of carbon, very strong. Uh, this is actually meant for very big fish. See, free drifter. Exact, this is perfect for what I'm doing right now. Yeah, you were saying earlier that you don't have another rod that could do this, right? I don't have another rod that can function like this. Not as well for drift fishing. This is the best so far. Um, and I'm using the Casking Kodiak, which looks small, but it packs a mighty punch. It, can, it has 39.5 pounds of drag in it. That's a lot for a little reel like this. I've got 15 pound Cast Pro line on here as well. Casking, you guys really set us up this time. Thank you. No teeth. Guys, if you are a fish expert out there, help us identify this fish. How'd it fight? Did it pull? Yeah. It's also easy to forget that what we're doing is actually pretty weird for a resort. Like, everyone else is just like lounging around by the pool and we're decked out in fishing gear, climbing on the rocks, and no one else is doing it, so. I wanted to warn everybody before they go and try this themselves. This is very dangerous fishing. It's not for people who, you need to be physically ready for this. Not only the sun, the sun will be beaming down on you. You need to have long sleeve. This is not 
I don't wear this to look cool. I don't wear this to look cool. Even though I do look cool, I don't wear it to look cool. It's because I'm protecting my skin. Sun poisoning is one of the top injuries here in Cabo San Lucas. So make sure you wear long sleeves and a hat that covers your neck. The rocks here are very dangerous because the waves are very strong and you don't know if a wave is gonna hit you or not. So what I do is, one, I come during low tide. Low tide when the waves are not as crazy. Oh, and my dad's on a big fish. Hold on. Oh my go. god! Where you going? Yeah! Look at that! Holy crap! That is awesome! Right through there, man. Right through where it needs to be. Oh my god, nice, Dad. Alright, we got two fish for dinner now. Wow, that's kinda... Oh my god, that is a really nice looking fish. You're lucky with the hogfish, huh? Wow! Yeah. Good job, Dad. No, no kissing. That's He's some gonna teeth bite in your there. Lips. Yeah. But the lips so sweet, though. <laughs> you guys give it a kiss. Yeah. Yeah. I would have done it. Give me. I'll give it a nice Frencher. No. Ah! <laughs> I liked it. Friend it. I did. Oh <laughs> no, no, let's let, let's put it in the bucket. Okay. Whoa. Cut yourself? A little bit. Yeah! Step on rocks, don't step on this soft sand here. Got it in the bucket. <gasps> A lot, but two really big ones. What are they? Okay. A Mexican hogfish. Oh yeah. And uh, a hawkfish. Wow! Look how beautiful. Oh my god! I got. You mind? No, no, not at all. Oh my gosh! What are you gonna do with them? Cook them up. Take them to the a restaurant or cook it up right in here. Oh, so you just got dinner to cook? Yeah. So can anybody go That's down there? I would be very, very, very careful. It's really hard to fish down there. It is. I, this is my first time fishing something like this. We uh, we film a fishing show. Oh, oh, pull them up and I'll get a picture of you in here. See, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at that, both of them. Look at that. Oh my you know you're going to be famous when you came back. Crabs home. that I caught in the morning. Uh huh. Awesome. If you want to see the video, it's on Senko Skipper uh, on YouTube. Really? Yep. Second Skipper on YouTube. Senko, S E N K O. What is it? S E N? K O. S E N K O. Yeah. We travel around, fish, and document teaching people how to fish new areas. Well, yeah, because I would think when your line break or get caught in the rocks. Yes, that's why you don't use any weights or anything. Ah, uh, and you probably use the heavier line. Yeah, this isn't what. This is not what I was using. You basically, yeah. just a hook and a crab, and you throw it out there. Yeah, she's a trooper. Oh she's God. the camera woman. <laughs> for the whole resort and for everybody. <laughs> I wish I could catch enough for everyone to eat a, a nice feast. Wouldn't that be nice? So what, what are the restaurants that's cooking it for you? I was going to cook it myself or I was going to take it to a restaurant called El Corral oh, that will okay. cook it for us. Yeah, you have a, you you have a barbecue. Right though. here? Uh -huh. Really? A lot. Oh, this is the, the raw, you know the, the, the name? It's a... Uh, Hog, hogfish. This fish. is Pargo. Pargo? Uh-huh. This is Pargo and another is Pargo. All right, Bye everybody.
Mm, I want to find my mom. So let's ask if they'll put it on the grill. Let's ask if they'll put it on the grill. I just caught, I was down there at the rocks. I know, rocks. I was watching you. Yeah. This is a, uh, a hawkfish, a giant hawkfish. And then this is a, look at this one. This one is crazy. Look at the tail on that. Wow. Oh my gosh. The my dad caught that. Uh, a hogfish. It's a Mexican hogfish. Yeah. Wow. I wonder if they'll grill it up for me right now. They're very friendly. I bet you they would. Yeah. Can not? Look at this one. Right here. Look, this is what we were using for bait. We caught all these crabs in the morning by the rocks. Oh, wow. And you cut those in half. And they seem to like that, huh? Bait. This eat. This eat. The whole thing. Right there at the beach, right there. I was standing on those crazy rocks. No way. This one is a hogfish. This one is a hawkfish. A hawkfish, yeah. yeah. I know, right? And there, I was catching crabs in the morning, and they eat the whole thing. Yeah. Look at the teeth on there. Yeah. Fish, man. She's she's the camera woman. Yeah. Got it all on camera. Thank you, thank you. The hands are all fishy. Let's see. We're gonna take a picture with you and all the family. Okay. You guys wanna hold the fish? Yeah. Ready? Come in, come in. Just make it about me. Nice yeah, we're gonna eat them up tonight. There you go. This one still has a hook in his mouth. The fresh, the better, right? Yep. Yeah, exactly. They eat these crabs. Oh. You put it on a hook. Oh, you use that for bait? Yeah. Okay. Bye guys. For my auntie and my family, I present to you a giant hawkfish. Hawk. This one's hawk. This one is hog. Mm hmm. 